For the recognition of an artist, time plays a vital role. If the artist is extraordinarily advanced compared to his time, his or her talent does not always get enough appreciation. In the history of Bangladeshi art, S. M. Sultan is one such artist. He was born around 1923 at Moshimdia Norail in a poor farmer's family. His family used to call him Lalmia. It was about 20 years later he was given the name Sheikh Muhammad Sultan to start his journey as a professional artist. Sultan's talent in painting started to show from childhood and he aspired for higher education in art. He tried to get into Kolkata Art School but didn't have necessary qualifications. His local zamindar Durendranath Roy advised him to meet Shahid Surawardi, a famous critic of that time. Surawardi was impressed at his talent, but told him, "You cannot join art school with the name Lalmia. From today, your name is Sheikh Muhammad Sultan." In 1941, despite the lack of primary education, Sultan was admitted into Kolkata Art School. But shortly before the final exam, Sultan left the school to explore the Indian subcontinent. During his travel across India, he earned his living by drawing portraits of Allied soldiers of World War II. In 1946, with the help of a Canadian woman, Sultan held his first exhibition in Shimla. From 1947 to 1953. Sultan displayed his work in more than 20 exhibitions of Europe and America. His paintings were exhibited along with other internationally celebrated artists, Pablo Picasso and Salvador Dali. He finally returned to his country in 1953 and went to Dhaka Art Institute for a job. Society and the Art Institute were not ready. To accept Sultan's unusual lifestyle, that included his long hair, pet monkey, and snake, but Sultan was not willing to change himself. So he left. He then went back to his village to settle down in an abandoned building, and established an art school for children. He also built a large boat and took the children to travel around the country. Although he had pretty good recognition in Europe and America, very few people in his homeland used to value his aptitude. It was in 1976 when a few of his friends brought him to Dhaka. The Bangladesh Shilpakala Academy organized an individual exhibition for his art exclusively. That was the first time Sultan was appreciated with proper respect by his countrymen. Today. He is considered as one of the greatest artists in Asia. His fame rests on striking muscular depictions of the diligent rural people of Bangladesh. In 1982, he was awarded with Ekuche Padu, the second highest civilian award of Bangladesh. His lifestyle and art were completely different from any other painter. of the indian subcontinent je shishu sundor chobi aake tar gramer chobi aake je sundor phuler chobi aake tar jib jontur chobi aake gach phuler chobi aake she kono din oporadh korte pare na she kono din kauke betha dite pare na